With isoconversional kinetic analysis, you basically start with dynamic thermal experiments and calculate isothermal profiles from these experiments. Using these isotherms, it allows you to exactly predict to what extent certain physical or chemical process has arrived at a certain temperature and after a certain time, which allows you to predict and optimize physical chemical processes such as degradation, cross-linking or crystallization. In our study on melamine formaldehyde coating resins, we applied isoconversional kinetic analysis methods to incorporate the thermochemical information into a technological database, and this technological database can be used to predict surface properties of products. By this, it was possible to change the basis for the technological data model. From using just process parameters for optimization, we were able to base the surface properties on material properties like conversion. The most interesting fact with our studies is that you carry on the laboratory experiments to some real industrial relevant problem solutions. So it allows you from studying liquid resins to predict product surface properties. This is something that's not only applicable to melamine resins, but can generally be tried for any kind of coating system and holds some promises as I think.